This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to bring you along on a typical day of studying and working. I usually wake up around 6.30 am. I don't know if all of you have been updated on my current studying situation, but I'm currently writing the dissertation for my law master's degree and I'm also majoring in history at the same time. Since I work full-time, I'm not able to attend as many classes as I want to, but since my lectures take place mostly in the late afternoon, I'm still able to drive to university as soon as all of my work and writing are finished for the day. Between 6.30 and 8.30, I do all of my morning routine stuff, like cooking a good breakfast, working out, reading and doing some meditation. I feel like these two hours in the morning keep me feeling balanced and relaxed to face the day and even if I have earlier appointments, I prefer to go to sleep earlier the previous day to also be able to wake up earlier and giving myself that morning me time. Also, if I have the time, this is when I do most of the major cleaning around the house. I have an alarm clock for 8.30 to snap out of my leisure time and start getting ready. Even if I study and work at home, I like to dress in comfortable clothes and get out of my pajamas. It's a little psychological trigger that puts me in the mood to do some work and establishes the limit between my leisure and work hours. The first thing I do at 9am is checking my calendar. Since I schedule all of my tasks on an hourly basis, I can understand right away what I have to do and when. It's really easy to follow along on tasks that are distributed throughout the day according to your schedule and routine. If I have small daily tasks, that is, tasks that need to be completed in that day but don't have a specific schedule, I will try to tackle those right away at 9am. I usually store these memos in the upper section of my daily calendar and they usually consist on answering emails, calling someone or doing some type of paperwork or accounting. I usually plan to do all of my most creative work in the morning. This involves anything YouTube related like writing scripts, recording a voiceover, filming or editing. Since I'm a morning person, I find it easier to tackle all of the tasks that put me out of my comfort zone first in the morning and then do most of the studying, reading and writing in the afternoon. Since YouTube is my job and I work in a very strict schedule, I also prefer to prioritize those tasks as the first thing in the morning. Then, if some unforeseen event occurs in the afternoon, I know at least that my work has been taken care of and I can then try to rearrange things in my schedule to accommodate all of the other, less goal-oriented tasks. I take a break from 12pm to 1pm for lunch. I feel like I need one hour to be able to fix a meal, rest properly and get energized once again to continue my work. Although I prefer to cook my own meals, I admit that sometimes I order some food online if I really can't bother with all the work that prepping a meal requires. This mostly happens if I had a busy weekend and wasn't able to do some meal prepping during Sunday afternoon. It's difficult for me to discipline myself to not jump back to work right away after eating, so I try to operate under an alarm scheme. Basically, I schedule a ton of alarms on my phone and repeat them every single day so I know what time of my day is allotted for resting and what time of the day is allotted for working. This helps me stay accountable for the work I have to do, but also allows me to take the needed time to do some casual reading, play video games and so on. As I've said before, the afternoon is where most of my schoolwork gets done. This means researching, organizing notes and materials for history, or working some research project outside of my master's degree. I have the goal of working every single day on my dissertation, even if that means reading a document or just writing a couple of paragraphs. Sometimes, however, I may have a very busy YouTube schedule and that means that no academic work can be done in the afternoon and I will do all of my YouTube work until 6 p.m. Either way, if that happens, since my work and planning is mostly goal-oriented and not time-oriented, I'm always able to shift some of the tasks for the evening or the early morning of the following day. I'm going to upload a video in two weeks about how I've been planning and writing my dissertation, but just for a sneak peek, I may say that I mostly like to operate on a very practical basis. As I've mentioned a hundred times before, I'm not the best reader, so to fully grasp the contents of a book or an article, I need to take notes. 
I have a general document with my thesis draft and I'll just insert in there any information that I find relevant and then I'll proceed to reference the author and the work that I cited so I can go back to that information in the future. I am permanently moving things around in the structure of my dissertation and playing with different ways to introduce certain type of ideas or opinions but I like to use a more dynamic way of writing instead of accumulating research and then having to go through it all over again during the final writing part. And this is me working on a super secret YouTube project that I will be revealing in December, if everything goes well with my schedule, of course. It will be the ultimate 100% free Christmas gift for every single one of you. So I really hope I can make it in time because I believe it will help you a lot to start 2019 on the right foot. In this particular day, I would only attend my pre-classical history class in the late afternoon from 6 to 8 p.m. I'm going to have my first midterm next week, so if you want to stay updated on my process for studying for that particular test, I have uploaded a study with me session this week and will upload a second one in the beginning of the following week. There you can follow me in all the reading and note taking and join me and do your own work while you are watching since everything is filmed in real time. Before we end today's video, I want to talk a little bit more about Squarespace. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform to create their own website. You can create a beautiful website with award-winning templates to start your own business, blog, you name it. The best thing about Squarespace is that it's used by a wide range of creatives and people, from musicians, designers, lifestyle bloggers and more. The platform is all-in-one, so there's no need to install any program, patch or upgrade, so the process of designing your website is as simple as it can get. You also get 24-7 customer support, as well as a unique domain experience that's simple to set up and completely transparent. Go to squarespace.com slash Mariana to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. I really hope you've enjoyed this video today and I will see you next week for more college, study and productivity related videos. 